Let me tell you, Fortnite does not mess around when it comes to banning people. Again. Again, no! There's too much! This has to be a glitch. This has to be a glitch. We are 13 seasons in this game, and people have found some absolutely stupid ways to ruin their account. So today, I'm gonna show you just how easy it is to lose your Fortnite account. This is 15 Ways to Get Banned in Fortnite, Season 3 Edition. And if you don't like this video and subscribe, you too might get banned on Fortnite. Trust me, my dad's Tim Sweeney, CEO of Epic Games. I wouldn't risk it. Anyways, on to number 15, Xenon. All right, a major rule with Fortnite competitive and a lot of esports nowadays is that you can't make money from tournaments unless you're over a certain age. With a lot of games, it's 16 or 18, but with Fortnite, Epic allows players as young as 13 years old. For one insane player named Xenon, he's the top of his league as far as young competitors go. And with a large following behind him, Xenon began to get some attention. Although there was one problem. He's only nine years old. While competing in a tournament live, something very bad happened to him. Shut him up, shut him. <laughs> shut him up. <laughs> And so yeah, while this absolutely sucks, he was only banned from playing Arena and not regular playlists. I mean, it still makes no sense considering you can't even make money from Arena. Because of this, hashtag FreeZenon was trending on Twitter for a day and even got the attention of people like Ninja who said, unless Arena start offering money for placements, there's no reason for Xenon to be banned until he turns 13. Number 14, Cypher PK. Okay, just to be clear, Cypher isn't the one who got banned here, it was a player he was spectating. For context, if you've been playing Fortnite for years, you've almost definitely come across a hacker in the game. It's pretty much almost guaranteed at this point. So, when streamer Cypher PK and a squad got beamed out of literally nowhere, it made them question how it was possible. Yo, get- OH SHIT! Oh! He's under the map, bro. He's under the map? So yeah, it's pretty obvious it was a hacker, so the only thing you can do is fight fire with fire. He's Wait, did he kill these dude. guys? He's, oh, oh, he just got banned! He just got banned! We got him banned. Oh, we just rocked him, bro. <laughs> That's right, crazy, right. bro. Submit on my report, yeah. just deleted yeah, I it, know. I mean, it is rare that you see Epic take action on your report literally 30 seconds after you submit it, but man, it feels so good to see Karma in action. Number 13, Laser Beam. Okay, so it might not come as a surprise to learn that Laser Beam, the king of breaking Fortnite, was indeed once a victim of the infamous ban hammer. Although what might surprise you is that he actually wasn't banned for glitching or anything like that, but something so much more hilarious. Laser spent hours trying to prank his friend Fresh by constantly attempting to join a solo match with a pack of friends and stream sniping him. When he finally got into a match and ambushed Fresh with his army of peelies, let's just say it was a battle for the ages. Oh my! <laughs> yeah, just like that, the entire army of Peelys just vanished without a trace. Epic and Laser Beam pretty much just handed Fresh an easy victory, but it came at a cost, with Laser getting banned from Fortnite for a very small amount of time. Number 12, Tico. In similar fashion to the last one, Fortnite YouTuber Tico was messing around with stream snipers, so naturally in one stream he got as many fans as possible to equip his signature fish stick skin and land in the same area. For a while he was messing around with them, doing emotes, killing each other, just overall having a good time, although all good things must come to an end. I'm the best. No! No normal spin! No, text him, revive me. What? Yo, I think... I think I just got banned. No, like it disconnected me. Wait, That's what? what happens when you eat Philip, bro. You get freaking banned from Fortnite. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Number 11, the $30 million World Cup cheaters. One of the most infamous stories in Fortnite's esports history is the very controversial tale of Ziff and Ronaldo, two Fortnite players who made their way to the World Cup finals. However, during the qualifiers, Ziff and Ronaldo were exposed for teaming and farming kills for easy points to get to the finals. He sits next to it, just sits next to it, gets this. Does not pick up any of the mats, which is High Sky is saying. He's purposely missing. This is just clear obvious. Because of this, Epic did a thorough investigation and banned both players for only 14 days. While the ban was 100% deserved, the duo just qualified again like nothing happened and ended up going into the World Cup Finals to win a prize of $50,000. Number 10, Phase Dubs and Waffles. 
FaZe Dubs has well had his fair share of controversies this year, from when he said some questionable things on stream to getting banned on Twitch. However, it wasn't the end of the road for Dubs who thought he'd continue his list of controversies by allegedly teaming in a cash cup. A video floating around on Twitter showing Dubs and his teammate Waffles landing at the rig and ignoring each other proved that he was indeed teaming, not to mention during a cash cup. Epic decided to do a swift investigation, and Dubs woke up one morning to this on his Fortnite screen. All right, what's up, boys? So I just wanted to show you guys, right now, I'm banned for 30 days, and I just want to explain to you guys my part of the story and show you guys the replays from the cash cup and all that. Whether he was innocent or not, if Epic did decide to take action, it doesn't exactly look good for dubs. Number 9. Glitch King At the beginning of Season 3, YouTuber Glitch King did his usual Glitch Showcase video. At the start of each season, he became known for showing off as many new bugs and glitches as possible. He was one of the best and could find bugs that nobody had even seen before. Unfortunately, with Season 3, Glitch King was treated to a 10 year long ban after Epic decided enough was enough. But instead of just stopping there, Epic also disabled Glitch King's supporter creator code, stopping him from making money and getting rid of a ton of revenue in the bank. Number 8. The Weird Ban Glitch So there's a weird glitch in Season 2 which randomly took out thousands of people with bans. In fact, some players saw their entire lobby get banned on the spot. It was an absolute disaster. Just take a look at this. Nothing. Oh, again. again, no, there's too much. This has to be a glitch. This has to be a glitch. It's pretty crazy. I mean, luckily Epic noticed the glitch and unbanned most of the people affected by it, but it must have been pretty wild to jump from the battle bus one match and just see people start disappearing like Thanos snapped his fingers or something. Number seven, Tifu. One of the most famous bands in Fortnite's history was that of Turner Tifu Tenny. While he was dominating the competitive scene in 2018 with Friday Fortnite and smashing records globally, he messed up by doing something that so many people did back in the day. On June 22nd, 2018, Tifu woke up to a permanent ban on his account. So I was just like freaking out. I was like, I don't know what's going on. Like, like, what, where are my accounts banned? Like, that's what I assumed. And then uh, Lumen messaged me on Twitter. He's like, we detected uh, buying an account sharing because uh, buying and selling accounts is not okay. It is against TOS. It is completely my fault that my accounts are completely banned, gone. So yeah, after explaining that he was indeed banned permanently because of account selling and sharing, he accepts his part of the blame, and to this day, he plays on a new account. Although for a period of time after the ban, he swore to never buy a skin from Epic again. And that promise didn't last long, but it was this that created the meme of Tifu being king of the defaults. Number six, Serpent AU. An Australian Fortnite YouTuber called Serpent was accused at the start of Season 3 of cheating in Fortnite. The accuser claimed that Serpent was using macros, which are shortcuts that can give you a massive advantage in a game. Macros are currently banned in Fortnite, and you are not allowed to use them. So once he was exposed, Serpent denied the accusations, but then changed his mind and apologized, saying that he was truly sorry and his actions were blurred by the money, influence, and experiences he was having. As a result of this, Epic permanently banned Serpent from the game just a few days later for breaking their TOS. Number five, Landon. One of the most risky things in Fortnite that you could do is dig into the files and change some stuff. It's quite dangerous, especially with how easily you've seen you can get banned, but some people did it for some pretty innocent reasons. That is, custom skins. For example, remember that whole like famous Spider-Man custom skin mod? Well, stuff like that is riskier than it seems. And unfortunately for the YouTuber Landon, he didn't realize that Epic was hot on his trail. Yo, what is on my back? <laughs> Yo, is that my- You're gonna laugh so hard. Just listen closely. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> A month after messing with custom skins, guns, and emotes, Landon realized he just wasn't able to log into Fortnite. I, uh, I log out of Fortnite, and I try to log back into Epic Games, and again, I see this. So it says, account disabled. Your account has been disabled. Accounts are disabled for one of the following reasons. The account owner requested that their account be disabled, which, starting up, uh, I didn't do this. A day later, Landon tweets out this. Just found out I'm permanently banned. I'm allowed to make another account, but what's the point when it's already $12,000 down the drain? Definitely a uh, sucky situation. Number four, Slacks, Keys, Creo, and Buck. Next up, we have quite an insane controversy that happened only recently during the most recent FNCS. 
Week one of last season's championship series resulted in Epic actually banning not just one, two, or even three, but four professional players in one go. During a match in the tournament, pro players Slacks and Keys were in first place and facing off against Creo and Buck. To avoid a storm surge happening, the two duos actually worked together and just ended up trading shots with each other. Not just once, but in multiple different matches. Constantly. Because of this, both duos were swiftly hit by the ban hammer. Takeaway, teaming is an easy way to get banned. Number 3. Tabor Hill the infamous Season 3 leaker Tabor Hill was actually recently banned from Fortnite out of nowhere, according to one of his latest videos. He talked about how he was unable to log into Fortnite anywhere, that everything was inactive, and he was told he was banned. So, Tabor Hill called out people who assumed he was banned for leaking Season 3. However, after talking to Epic customer support, he revealed the true reason for his account ban. The account was disabled because a hacker tried to claim it. In order for us to protect the account, we have disabled the account. Are you kidding me? Someone tried to hack my account? And because of that, they banned everything from Fortnite related to my account. How crazy is that? Number two, the 14 year old who got sued. A huge story that made waves across the internet last year was when Epic Games not only banned a 14 year old from Fortnite, but actually took him to court and sued him and his family for an undisclosed amount of money. The boy had a YouTube channel where he created hacks and mods and then sold them to people wanting to cheat in Fortnite. However, Epic found him and sent him to court. The lawsuit was settled, meaning the boy's family is almost definitely paying a lot of money to Epic right now. This was a huge story at the time, and Epic has done this quite a few times. Last year, they also sued a teenager called Golden Mods who did something kinda similar. Moral of the story, don't cheat or else Epic Games will kinda like ruin your lives at this point. And finally, our number one spot goes to the most famous ban in Fortnite's entire history, FaZe Jarvis. Back in November of 2019, FaZe Jarvis woke up one day to a permanent ban on his Fortnite account. I just know now that I can never go to any other events or like even be a part of the Fortnite community. Just like the amount of oh, I can't speak. He revealed that the ban was because he downloaded aimbot software and a few other cheats and used them to record videos for his channel. Epic is very stiff on their cheating policies. If you cheat, it doesn't matter if you're even in FaZe Clan, they're gonna ban you. And that's exactly what happened. Epic did not back down despite backlash on social media, and now Jarvis is still permanently banned on Fortnite to this day. Obviously, he's since moved on from Fortnite and uploads other stuff on his channel where he's absolutely killing it, so he still kinda took the dub here. But hey, click on screen right now or else my grandpa will ban your Fortnite account. Trust me, it's legit 100%. <laughs> this has been Tommy, keep it here on Top 5 Gaming.